Hey guys, John here. I'd like to thank the sponsor for today's video, Sal Digital. Sal Digital makes print media solutions for your creative media business. Interesting fact about this channel, 99% of the people watching this are men. Another interesting fact is 99% of the people watching this channel are not subscribed. So subscribe right now and give me a thumbs up on this video. See, I do a lot of food and real estate and occasionally I might do a portrait if someone asks me, but I'm not running to go do it. That's not my thing. There's people that are more professional than myself. But having printed media to present to customers and clients is way more professional and way more engaging because it shows what you can do. For me, with food photography, I started during the pandemic. I didn't think that food photography was really a genre. I thought it was a joke. I thought it was just something people did and you know put on Instagram and took photos like that. But Digital gave me a voucher to create a product. And I spent a lot of time to figure out exactly what I wanted on there. And I paid a little bit more so that I could customize it to get it the way that I want. I think it's a super professional way to show people your best work. You can always show them everything that you've got on your phone. But again, this thing is going to go off. It's going to ring. It's going to be distracting. And this is something you can just give to people and let them use as a reference point of view. The way that I designed my Sal Digital book was so that there is a little bit of like a selling point to it. Um, what I did is I chose some of the best work that I had. And I just love how freaking big this thing is and how professional it looks. Um, on here was a shot that was actually not commissioned. This was a shot I did myself because I wanted it for Sal Digital right there. I, this shot right here, an overhead shot, a go-to shot for food photography. This was done for a company locally called Jasmine Fusion Grill. We did it at their restaurant. It's an awesome shot. But the way that I organized this book is it suggestively starts to sell more things. Here's a beautiful shot of a hamburger and bam, it's just... It totally gets your attention. You can't tell me that that doesn't gets your attention showing all the details. And that's like what I really do like about food photography is like super zooming in, actually using high resolution photos. Um, but this is where um, I think restaurants really like to get a good point of view. Um, on this, you can see every little detail about this food and it's suggestively selling their product to their customers. So that's a really cool feature of this book. Um, here's, you know, people eating at a table. This was all for Mezzo in Dublin, Ohio. Um, actually, this was one of my first ever paying customers. So definitely means something to me. Um, some drink shots, some mango nada, um, and then like a dessert drink right here. So in the middle of the book, I start to switch up the whole theme. So instead of it just being food photography, I let customers see some real estate. <clears throat> so this is how you can upsell customers on more than just food photography by having a professional photo book is by getting, you know, big printed drone pictures of their property. Admittedly, now I do a ton of real estate photography. Back at this time, I did not know what a sky replacement was and a sky replacement on there would have made a huge image. I could have utilized this a different way to show them half sky replacement, half original, to show them the value and the time, effort, energy, and skills I've acquired through taking lots of pictures of real estate, lots of pictures of food. Um, but that's something that this book is very useful for, is showcasing all of the property and showing it in a way that they've never seen it. What is in the heart of the book is not just the food, it's actually the people that work there. So in this book, I've got on this side, I'm an owner for a restaurant. These two guys over here are actually uh, owner and chef, and then a owner chef in the red. So this is the heart of the book. This is what sets me apart from a lot of food photographers. I'm not in there, I'm not a food blogger. I'm not there to take pictures, post them on social media. I'm there to give you a product that elevates your business. If you're gonna spend money with me, you're gonna see an increase in business because we're creating products that are gonna create you money and help people wanna be your, your, at your location. I switch it right back to some of the real estate to remind people that we can get some really warm shots, some really good shots that are you know, part of their business. Something that's really important if you're gonna get some real estate shots is to get their logo, get the heart of their business in these photos. 
Um, this was again another one of my first shoots. Um, this was lemongrass in Columbus, Ohio. Mezzo because I love them and Druma because they gave me so much daggone food after the shoot. And then here's more of like the food inspiration type of shots that show all of the ingredients that go into it. Here's more of these. These look great on this one in particular. I got a little bit of an offside shot where more coverage is on this page than over here, but it's a good contrasting image. Solid hero overhead shot with flash pizza because everyone loves pizza last page the ender for this is a pineapple from my first ever Paid photo shoot, so I thought that was a great way to end this book. So this book isn't too big um, But it does take up a lot of space, which is fine I love utilizing it to sell my products and present myself more professionally unlike Unlike a piece of paper, this isn't gonna get thrown away. This is something that I love to use on site to help present me. So I'd like to thank, again, Sal Digital for making a great product for me to sell my services to businesses.